Hey everyone, it's Marco here from My Color Screen. Ever wanted to know how to create a very easy to use and easy to set up Android home screen? Well, you've come to the right place. So today I'll be bringing you a very easy to follow Android home screen tutorial, perfect for all those minimal users as well as the beginners out there that don't really know what to do when setting up a home screen. This home screen is called Light by Sedated H and what else is there? It's pure minimal at its finest. It's got your battery percentage at the top, it's got your time and date at the bottom, as well as folders or an app drawer at the, at the bottom corner just to get to all your important stuff. What else is there? That pure minimal wallpaper at the background is simply fantastic. It's going to be working on any phone because you don't want to have any hassles with your UCCW or even the wallpaper. So without any further ado, let us bring to you today's video tutorial. Great, so starting off with this home screen tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download it straight from the My Color Screen website onto your phone. You just need to go into your browser. As you can see, I have this screen set loaded up. So cool. So next, you just want to select the wallpaper over here and it'll bring up the link for the wallpaper. You just need to hold down on it and then say save image. And then it'll start to download. As you can see, starting to download, very easy to do. Next, we'll just go back. And you want to look for where the author has provided the link for the UCCW and all the UCCW skins and just select that now as well. Bring up the Mediafire page. You just want to wait for it to load and you want to select download. And let's just go for Chrome and it'll start to download the skins for you. You can also use your ES File Explorer and it'll download just like that. Tells you where it's been saved. Great, so once they've been saved, you want to go into your app or your file explorer. I highly recommend ES File Explorer just because it's so easy to use and it's very customizable. So you want to go into your download folder and you want to look for the lights uccw.zip. What you want to do now is hold onto it. You can either now copy it or cut it into your own Android customizing folder or you can just simply go more and then say extract to. And this will extract the zip file with all the contents inside it to anywhere you want it to go. So if I just want it here, I'll just say OK and it'll create a new folder here for me that's got your zip files in it. I also recommend once you've downloaded your wallpaper is to copy and paste it into this folder as well just so it's very easy to find. Great, so that's all your setup basically done. Next we'll be moving on to your launcher settings. Great, now the launcher settings are very easy to do. If you're using Nova Launcher, you just need to hold down and select the wrench at the top to get into your Nova settings. Do not worry though, if you're using Apex or SS Launcher or pretty much any other launcher, this should work for you as it's just a very easy setup. Next, you want to go into your desktop and then into your desktop grid. You want to be changing your portrait grid. I went for a 9x7, worked well for me, but as it's a, such a minimal setup, no really grid size matters as long as it's fairly large. So going to select OK, margins none, your home screens, you only want one home screen and you pretty much want to disable anything, you want to disable your label icons, widgets overlap, not important at all, but I'll just leave it on and yeah, that's pretty much it for your, your desktop, for your dock, you just want it to be disabled, for your look and feel, now the icons that were used in the home screen, they were called small whites. Now you can either apply it in this theme here, if you don't know where to get them, just look for small whites. If you just search in the Play Store, the first one that pops up, it's free. Amazing, amazing icons. So you just need to install them and it'll be set up for you. So like I said, you can either apply it here just by going to the icon theme and then going into small white icons and selecting it and it'll then be applied. However, if you don't want them all to be applied, you can still apply them individually later, which I'll show you how to do. One thing you want to do though, show notification bar, you want that to be disabled. You don't want to show that notification bar at the top. However, you can still get all those notifications if you just pull down or use gestures to double tap or whatever you want actually to show that notification bar. Great, and that is your Nova settings complete. You just want to go back and everything should be set up. If you've got any widgets or icons, remember just to drag them into the X at the top. Next, we'll be moving onto the wallpaper. Great, so for this wallpaper, very easy setup. You just want to hold down and select wallpapers. Now, I really like using Quick Pick, but you're welcome to use the gallery if you want, just to select it. And your first one should be, or second one should be where you've downloaded the wallpaper. It'll just pop up. So remember, very easy. It doesn't really matter what size your phone is. You just want to go at the bottom here and select portrait. This will just show you now what it's actually going to look like on your home screen. So let's go for something like that. Remember, 
put it wherever you want and then say OK. It'll now set the wallpaper for you and there it is, quick and simple, no hassle whatsoever. Next we'll be moving on to the UCCW skins. So now we'll be moving on to the UCCW skins which are very easy to set up. You want to hold down on the home screen, you want to go for your widgets and you want to scroll to the amazing free app called UCCW. Now you want to go for say a 2x1 but you're always welcome to resize it later. Next you want to select use up at the top and you want to go find in wherever you, you've saved these lights UCCW folder and you want to look for it. Remember you have to have extracted it in order to find it. So you're just going to select it, it'll come up with your two use ups. So let's start off with the battery one at the top. I'm just going to select it now and it'll come up with a little hand and you just want to select that hand and the use up will pop up. Remember it's very, very tiny but you're welcome to resize it like this, just like that and there it is. So next you want to do the exact same for the one at the bottom. Go back into widgets, back into UCCW, you can go for a 2 by one You want to go back into UZIP and you want to go for just the HS one like that. So there's the little hand. Remember if, you get, if it comes up with a white box to drag it into the X and then instead of going open UZIP the next time you add in the UCCW skin just look at that list of already added skins and it should be working for you. So remember to resize, just need to hold down, select resize and make it a bit bigger. That looks good. So what you want to do now is add in those two icons on the side here and to do that it's very simple. You can either just hold down, say if you want to add in an app draw, you want to hold down, select Nova Actions and then app draw. You just need to hold down on it for a while it seems and then put it in the corner like that. Now to change an icon, very easy to do. You just want to hold down on it and you want to select edit. You want to select the icon. Now what's cool about the new Nova launcher or the, the new update is that you, it's got, if you've installed a theme, it's got all the icons to choose from like this. So we have the small whites set up like this. And say if you wanted an app draw, you just need to select this little icon here and then select OK. So now when you select it, it brings up your app draw. Very easy to do. Now you're also welcome to set this as a folder just to tap it and it'll open up a folder. I'll do that to the one above. And then if you want to just open up your app draw, you can use a gesture that you'll probably need the prime version 4 in your launcher. So you can say double tap and it'll open up the app draw or just swipe up and it'll open up that app draw. So to add in a folder, you want to hold down, you want to select apps now and it's got all of your apps to choose from. But if you want to make a folder, you want to go say select multiple. So say if you want to select your Chrome, the clock, Dropbox and Hangouts, for example, then you say create folder when you're done. And it'll create a folder like this and you can just place that in the bottom corner. Now if you want to change the icon, remember we just did it earlier, you want to hold down on it, select edit, select the icon or image and you can choose from the whole list of icons here. So you can choose this one as shown in the home screen. You want to select the tick and there it is. So to set it up, boom, just like that. Now if you saw in my video, I used Simi folder which is exactly the same way except you want to hold down, select shortcuts now and then Simi folder. And remember, you can now you just need to create one of these folders. This is for intermediate users as quite a, quite a mission to set up one of these. But I just selected this one here, change the icon. So now when you select it, it brings it up like that. So whatever is easier for you, I do recommend the normal folders if you just want a quick and simple setup as it's very easy to just chop and change shortcuts at your own will. Simi folder just takes a little bit more effort. So one thing to remember, if you want to just resize your, or reposition these little UCCW skins, make sure that your lock widgets is off. To do that, you just want to go into your UCCW app, go into your menu, and then make sure lock widgets is off. That'll allow you to now edit these UCCW skins. So say if I wanted to move this battery a little bit in more, I just want to select it. It'll bring up the editor now. Now you want to select background, which is re replace the select object menu. And you want to select common controls, as now this will move everything. So you just want to select position, fast movement. You can't really see it now, it's quite white. But if you just move it, say, left a few times, and then close, and then go back, it'll shift it slightly to the left. Very easy to do. And remember, your, your UCCWs always have hotspots. So say this bottom one, you want to open up your clock. You just want to select it to bring up the editor. Select background to bring up your select object. And then go into your hotspots. As you can see, the author has already set up his own hotspots. But if you do not have, say, for example, alarm droid, but you still want to open up your alarm, 
you want to say make sure it's on hotspot number two which is this one over here and you want to go into hotspots remember check the description below for any help that you might require as well as our uccw tutorials i know it's the old app but everything is still there so moving on with this hotspots if you want to open up say your alarm i'd go into uccw and then say open up the launch alarm just like that so now you want to change the time as well so you want to go select the hotspots and go into number one and then back into hotspots from here say if you want to open up your clock app you go into app or say if you want to use the calendar select the calendar rather and those will be now assigned but now you want these to be activated so you just want to go back into your menu go into lock widgets and go on we'll activate these hotspots and there we have it so now when you select this it'll bring up your clock and when you select here it'll bring up your calendar so that is pretty much the home screen complete now if you want to go a bit more technical you're welcome to add a misted widget over here you just need to hold down select widgets this is cool because now with Misted you can show your notifications but even if you don't it will not be there. So you just want to go into Misted now. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because we have the complete guide to Misted. I'll put it in the link below, do not worry. So the only things I'll probably change is go into appearance, you've got it into your background color and you want to make it fully transparent, select OK. And then I'd say change all the styles of my parameters, make them, or change the font, I'd go for a Roboto. Roboto Lite looks pretty good. So I changed all of the styles, fonts to Roboto Lite and I turned off the background. And then one more thing to change is your output format. You want to deselect show all. So now when you don't have a notification, it's not going to be there. So I'm just going to leave it unnamed. You can change the name if you want and then select the tick. So I just want to resize this a bit now. But what's nice now is that say if you want to open up your messages, you can open up your unread messages or your emails like that. And once you've read all of them, it'll then disappear. But it's up to you if you want to have this widget or not. So thank you very much guys. This is the home screen tutorial complete. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. But this is my color screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So my name is Marco. Thank you very much guys for watching. And most of all, don't stop customizing.